This is a jacked up bobby pin. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea Smith and today I'm going to be showing you the three easy, simple steps to getting this really cute, slick back pony. You know me, I love a good high pony and it's the easiest, simplest fix when you're not in the mood to do this big updo to go out, but you just want something that's classy, looks good, is simple, and if you have extensions, this is the video for you. Let's get started. Okay, so step one, you're going to tease a little bit of this top section. You want the extensions to be able to stick onto something and it also helps your head so that it doesn't hurt. So I just tease like this whole area. And this is not the conventional way to do things, but I don't do things conventional. So I don't know how your extensions are, but my extensions, I have like this piece, it's like four piece and then a three piece. These are not the ones we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using all of the small pieces. Don't want them to catch on fire. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the smaller pieces and I'm gonna do like four different quadrants. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of pull my hair over and I'm just gonna clip it in. And then I'm gonna take another one and come at it this angle. And this may seem random, but it's actually not random. I take it to the other side, clip one in, and then I take the last one and I stick it. Make sure the hair is going the direction that it will be pulled back. I just take it right here. Super easy, and I would never put these extensions in to like go out. I mean, just like this, because honestly, this doesn't look very good. But this is literally the easiest hairstyle ever. It's my hairstyle that's like go to if I really don't feel like doing anything too crazy. You can use a hair tie that like is the same color of your hair if you want that's easier. But I literally just flip my hair over and I do a nice little. And the good thing about the extensions being all in that one little part is that you don't have to worry about them peeking out. So typically my hair would be a little bit curled already, but I actually feel like with my short hair, it's better to be straight because it just kind of like gives a little poof. But of course, if you want to add more volume, this is the next step. It's optional. I like to make my tie into like a hair wrap. So I'll take some from the bottom and I usually take my own hair because that will give like a good transition from your own hair. And then you just take a little bobby pin and you're just going to put it in the bottom. Super easy. Obviously not so easy. Okay, this is a jacked up bobby pin. Okay, so you're gonna take it, pull it around. So then I take my favorite hairspray, which is drugstore, super cheap and amazing, so love, and just spray the cheese out of it because I like it to be slick. If you want it to be, oh, Oh no, what is that? That's not good, I'm gonna have to redo this. My hair is so short that it like, just won't stay up very well. I like a clean, crisp look. I'm less into the messy like, I can do a great messy bun like once a year. And so I feel like doing crisp is like more my style. Major issue right here. I literally have this look down to two minutes, which is why this video is so short. Many thanks to Zabbix Style House for the amazing extensions. They sit you down and they match your exact hair color to the extensions. It's so amazing and then you get them in a couple weeks later. It's 
really great customer service and I absolutely love the girls that work there so if you're in Portland that's where you should get your extensions by the way my jewelry today is from Francesca's it's my favorite little shop you should definitely check it out because it's got like really cute stuff and this little dress is from guests I look I look beautiful. Thumb beautiful.